hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically you can build a qr code scanner inside your php application inside the browser let me show you the demo of the application here so basically you can see this is the interface of this application we have got a simple input field out there and basically it is saying that uh, QR code scanner and basically here you can upload the image file of your QR code whatever QR code that you need to scan and uh, if you cl click convert you will see file type is invalid you need to select a file so it is having all the validation is it so if I choose this file here let's suppose I have this QR code here which is a PNG image file if I click convert it you will see QR code is scanned and the result is this one and also you can create just go to a website here in order to generate a QR code, let's suppose I create a new QR code here and I write here cane. Just write cane here and after that if I click download, it will give me this PNG image guys you will see. I will download this on my computer. So now if I select this image, you will see. Click on convert, you will see QR code is scanned and the result is cane. You can see that. So it is successfully basically, it is now capturing all the information that it is present inside the QR code and it is scanning it. So we will be trying to replicate this application. In this tutorial I have written the complete store source code on my tutorial website. So you can go to the description of this video and copy paste all the source code. Step by step instruction is given. So now guys what we need to do is that here we need to start from scratch. So the source code is given in the description of this video. So here this is the PHP code is required guys only a single index.php file is required. So first of all you just need to install composer inside your system. It is very easy. You can install it by going to its official website composer.org. It's basically a dependency manager something like npm for Node.js. So if you just type composer you will be redirected to getcomposer.org. Simply download this for Windows. It is available. I have already downloaded it. So I have the command line here, which is composer. So this command is there. So here, first of all, inside your package, sorry, inside your root directory, just make a composer.json uh, file. Let me delete this file also. So just make composer.json file and I have given this uh, library code guys inside the description of the video inside my blog post. So simply you just need to copy this code here first of all inside your composer.json file right here. This is a basically the code here the version number of the library. After you make this file this uh, there is a command out there in composer which will actually install the dependencies and it will create this vendor folder. Let me delete this vendor folder and now nothing is there. You have the uploads directory here. You will be storing all the QR code images which you which the user will upload. So you need to create the uploads directory before you execute this PHP script. Make a composer or JSON file. Just copy paste the library version number. And now there is a command out there. We will simply uh, basically execute this command which is composer install. So if you execute this command guys you will see it will create this vendor folder and this composer log file also inside your vendor folder it will contain all the library code which is downloaded from the composer and basically this is the main file that we need which is autoload.php which will automatically start the module for us because see we are importing all the modules in this file in this one single file so we just need to load this file inside our php script so right inside our php script guys we are, you can see we are using bootstrap 5 a simple form is there and uh, it has got a simple input field out there. Here we are only accepting image files and we have given the name attribute to it of QR code. And then we have a simple button out there which will actually convert the image and we will scan this image. And you can see we are submitting to the same form here to the same page. We are passing the data using the method post here and encoding type multipart form data because this time we are uploading an image. And right here guys you will be processing this form here. So just put a PHP tags here at the very top. This is a PHP tags like this. So first of all guys we just need to import the library that we are, I have shown you. So you just need to require this. And this will be coming from the vendor folder slash autoload. 
So simply guys, we are requiring this file which is stored inside the vendor folder which is autoload.php. So inside our index.php we are store importing this and now we just need to use a namespace which is zxing zxing and then slash qr code qr reader just write this and basically now we have the message which will be shown to the user this message will be empty and here we will first of all check in the if condition that if is set dollar post so the name of the button that we have given is upload so this simply means that if the upload button is clicked then only you need to execute the code inside this if statement so you will see we have given this name attribute to the button which is upload so here we are just checking that if the upload button is pressed by the user then only execute this code so first of all we will get the file name of the which the user has selected by dollar files so these are some variables which are there inside PHP forms so QR code name so you can see basically we are getting the input field we have given the name to it if you see closely we have given the name here which is QR code so we are just getting the URL which the user or image file that the user uploads so we will get its name and we will also get the file type either which if it is a image file video file any type of file this also we can get this using the type parameter and lastly we will have uh, the file temporary location so temporary location is stored inside our temp variable so there is a temp variable or temporary name tpm tp tmp underscore name temporary name and lastly we have the file size size that's all so these are the four properties we are extracting inside our PHP guys so here we will assign some validation here so here we will only be accepting uh, image files so we will use the explode method and basically here we will simply say that we will check against the file type so inside this we will have basically a semicolon and then we will simply check that if file type 0 is not matching is if it is not an image then in that case we will put a message that uh, file type or you can say file must be an image file like this so if you just do this process guys if you now try to upload a video file or a PDF file you will get an error let's suppose if I select here a video file can see that if I try to select here this mp3 file click on convert you will see that file must be an image file so there is some kind of validation is there guys you can see that and now we will try basically guys what we will try we will try for the size you can see we are also getting the size as well so right inside our else if statement we will simply check only 5 megabytes else if we will say that the file size and uh, for the file size guys there is uh, 5 megabytes is around 524 2800 bytes 880 so if it's larger than that we will show this message to the user that file size is too big maximum size is 5 megabytes that's all and now we will have a else condition if the file is smaller than 5 megabytes and if it's an image file then in that case we will be uploading this file 
so we will be giving a new file name to it we will make use of this md5 method and inside this we will pass a random method we will concatenate with the current time so just make multiplied by current time and then we will again concatenate with the file name and then guys we will use the move uploaded file method basically this will upload the file to the server directory so here we will save the temporary location we need to move it to the uploads directory and followed by the constructed new file name which is this one after the file is uploaded guys there is basically this method that we are importing from this library z is in reader and it contains a method out there which is called as uh, let me show you the method so this is called as new constructor we will first of all say qr reader this is a method and here you just need to provide your file name which was we will say uploads slash and then followed by your file name which is new file name that's it so basically it will read the content and now it will store the content inside your QR scan and basically we can construct the message that uh, your QR code contains and basically we will concatenate QR scan that's all this is all that we need to do guys and basically now oh sorry this contains a method guys basically this is a object and basically we can use the text method out there so it will only extract the text which is present inside our QR code if I now execute this application in the browser if I try to upload basically a image file click convert it you will see your QR code contains scan you can see that if I select another different one your QR code contains this one so this is the way by which you can build this QR code scanner inside PHP guys using this uh, library all the source code is given in my blog post you can copy paste all the source code please hit that like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video